started right away. Um, the menu and the beers are a collaboration of a lot of people coming together. Um, and myself and Sean Paxton, who is going to speak in a moment, the homebrew chef, uh, work together um, with the food. And Sean is uh, also very responsible for working with the brewmasters directly to get all these very special beers that we're about to have tonight. Um, and uh, he's going to talk a little bit more about the pairing and all that um, and how we put some things together. But um, I'll just put my two cents in. It was uh, sometimes it can be a nightmare when two chefs uh, get together, but I have to say it was wonderful working with Sean. Um, it was very easy to work with. Um, and this menu, I think, is really represents a lot of what Moss Farmhouse is and a lot of what the home brew chef is, and that's using beer to cook with and pairing beer uh, in a special degustation menu like this with multiple courses um, really wonderfully. And so uh, it just came together seamlessly, and um, I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, we're going to start sending out food, and Sean's going to start to talk to you while that happens. So thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So, first I want to say thank you. This is my first time in New York in actually 14 years. And, and uh, you know, I do beer dinners all over the country and it's a real treat to be here. Um, I'm really excited to work with Galen. You know, it was really kind of fun, you know, with the help of Josh to kind of get the synergy of flavors and the, the, the concept of, you know, what it is to cook with beer. And not just to cook with beer, to cook with it, but to really look at beer as an ingredient. Um, I feel very fortunate in my job that I get to work with the brewmasters as well to really understand the flavors as well as, since I'm also a brewer, to think about this and that and how this will pair with that and, and that's kind of what we did with this whole menu and it was really kind of fun because to play up the seasonality as well as uh, these unique beers that we have tonight, some are very special um, and I'm really excited for you guys to try kind of our minds coming together. You know, it was a real treat to work with Galen especially with, you know, all the different flavors that uh, he kind of does with this restaurant and then overlay that kind of with what I do and it kind of takes some things out of wine territory and really pop them into beer territory and then integrate these different flavors and techniques that I think he was kind of surprised, like, wow, that's really good. <laughs> and I've been like back there like, this is better than I thought it was going to be. So, see that. So, so our first course, we have a Pacific Kushi Oyster, which is a very small, almost like a Komamoto. Uh, it has a, a lot of sweetness to it, but it also has a nice salinity to it. Uh, to go with that, we did, uh, Brewery Omegon did a Belgian Pale Ale, which is kind of a light, refreshing, crisp, what is it, about 6%? 6.2. Uh, percent beer, and we actually added in some agave nectar, as well as uh, a little bit of a sorbet kind of blend to it. And then we froze that up, and we have a little scoop of that on top, which are kind of bring a nice flavor with the hops and kind of the citrusy notes that the beer has and it's kind of a little bit dry and just a hint of sweetness. And then we put some um, sorrel, which has a little bit of lemon to play up that hop bitterness that's in the beer, as well as some uh, chervil and uh, some amaranth for a little bit of color. Um, this is just meant to be like a one bite of mousse bouche um, and then we'll get started on the rest of the meal. But I want to thank you guys all for coming. It's a real honor to be here. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy your evening. Thank you. Thank you.